And now that you voted, let's calculate how much it actually mattered. Wait, you voted, right? Sorry, if you have not voted yet, please vote. Then watch this video on how unlikely it was to affect the election. Did I spoil the ending? Turns out voting is like real estate. Location, location, any idiot can do it. Let me reward you with an all-American formula that you'll probably never use because you're an American. The probability that your vote decides the election is equal to the probability that your state's electoral votes are necessary for the winning candidate times the probability the vote in your state is tied conditional on your state's electoral votes being necessary. In the 2016 election, this formula tells us that the average voter in America had a 1 in 54 million chance of being the deciding ballot. That means you're more likely to die from a snake bite than decide which snake is president. But the good news is, you have more of a chance of making a difference in the election than you do winning the Powerball jackpot or the McDonald's Monopoly game. So they just gotta put voting booths in the Mickey D's drive-thru. Straight up. But not all ballots were created equal, despite what our founding fathers said about men <laughs> and only men. If you were a voter in a swing state in 2016, you had an approximately one in three million chance of deciding who the president was with one single vote. Still small, but makes your vote count as much as 21 average Americans combined and over 2,000 times as much as a Californian, which is why it's always Californians reminding people to vote overcompensation. Because we believe in equality in the United States of Arizona, Florida, Georgia, Minnesota, Michigan, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and of course our nation's capital, Wisconsin, D.C. stands for the cheese. If you voted in New Mexico in 2008, you had a one out of 6,000 chance of flipping the election all by yourself, and a one out of 7,000 chance of flipping meth as a chem teacher dying of cancer. And this year, to have the most voting power, you gotta pencil in your vote in Pennsylvania because pencils are what the Amish use. But Sammy, this your vote doesn't count much is a dangerous mentality backed by all that evil logic and simple obvious math. I'm not saying don't vote. I'm just saying if you wanna have a say in politics, move to Iowa, the state averaging the most voting power in the past 40 years. Because this nation is already too full of people preaching politics, but at the end of the day, they don't love their candidate as much as their neighborhood. Whee!